Hi guys. Um, yeah. So it's week 20. Halfway there. I'm actually 20 weeks and four days. Um, so I'm really late on making this video, but we had company. We had um, a couple staying with us because their house and base housing wasn't ready. So I, I didn't have time to do the video. But I'm going to try and do it quick. I just got out of the shower and I have to start packing. We're going home this weekend. So that's exciting. We're going to go see our family. We haven't seen them in a little, a little while. It hasn't been too long since we've seen them. But um, there's not too much new this weekend um, or this week. There's not much new stuff. The baby's still kicking. Actually, the baby's kicking a lot more. Um, a lot, lot more. I was drinking a cup of tea yesterday and it was pretty full and I had it kind of like resting on my belly and I was holding it but it was like resting it there and the baby kicked and it kind of spilled out a little bit so that was kind of funny. Um, I don't have anything written down so I don't really know where I'm going with this video uh, this week so I don't really know what to talk about. But um, symptoms, I don't really have very many symptoms anymore. Um, just I get headaches a lot, but they seem to be fading too. So hopefully, actually heartburn has been one of them. I have been getting heartburn. So I'm going to talk to um, my doctor. I go to the doctors on Monday, and I'm going to talk to them and see um, what I can do about heartburn. So, so that's the only bad thing. Um, cravings, chocolate milk. A lot of chocolate milk. I love chocolate milk. Still lemons. I think that's probably going to be craving till the end of my pregnancy. Um, and that's about it. I don't, I don't really have any more cravings. I just get hungry a lot, so I pretty much just eat anything. Um, let's see. We have so we have our doctor's appointment on Monday. Um, let's see, it's Thursday, so that's soon. And then we're gonna find out what we're having. I'm so excited. I never thought this day would come. Um, and we did actually, last night, we did, and I didn't film it. I didn't do any filming of it. I feel bad because I, I probably should have. But we did, like, the gender test thing. Um, I did the baking soda one earlier on in the day. And I guess with that one, you take, like, two teaspoons of baking soda, put it in a cup, and then you take your cup of urine and pour it over the baking soda and if it fizzes up like soda or like Alka-Seltzer or something it's supposed to be a boy and if it doesn't do anything then it's a girl and mine didn't do anything so that was one for girl and then when Justin got home from work last night we went to the store and we bought the um, Intelligender test and I really I, I wanted to film it and then I just didn't because we got so excited and we got home and we just never filmed it. But that came out as girl as well. So it's the two tests that we did take both came out as a girl. So it's going to be exciting to see if it is a girl on Monday. But everyone has been saying boy and we've kind of been thinking it's going to be a boy so it's going to be exciting if it's a girl. Um, so yeah, so that's like the, the really exciting thing. Um, other than that, the, there's really not too much going on. I mean, we don't... I feel like everything's kind of slowing down. I don't really feel... Um, like much has been happening, I guess. I don't know. Justin's getting a little more antsy. We did go look at cribs. Uh, that is the one one thing that we did. We don't have anything yet. We, we haven't bought anything yet because we wanted to wait to find out what we were having. Um, but we did look at cribs. And we found a couple that we really liked, and so we're going to, on Monday, buy our crib after we find out what we're having. So that's going to be like our big celebration after we find out we're going to go to the store and um, pick out a crib. And then also, um, I think we've decided that we're going to have our baby shower close to 26 or 28 weeks um, 
a little earlier because um, I want to make sure that I'm not too big and tired all the time to put things together and to wash all the clothes and, and get the room set up. So plus we want to have time um, after the baby shower to buy things that we didn't get from the baby shower that we need. So we don't want to leave ourselves with no time and then have just this baby come. And also, you know, some people go into early labor too. So we just want to be prepared. So we're going to, um, we haven't done any planning of baby shower yet. So we're going to start doing that probably this weekend. We're going to talk to um, my mother-in-law and see what she thinks and where she thinks we should have it because my family, um, lives in a different state than Justin's family does, but they both live kind of on the border. So we got to find some place in the middle where everybody can come and one person isn't going to have to drive way far out of the way than another person. So we're going to try and make it even for everybody. Even though we're going to have to drive far, we don't want everyone else to have to. Um, I think that's about oh the size the size of the baby that was one thing um so this is why it's good to write things down because you forget things did you hear my cat gonna be in the video <laughs> say hi he doesn't care um so the size of the baby last week last week was the last week that they measured the baby from head to butt so the baby was six inches Six, yeah, six inches last week. And then this week is exciting because now they they start to measure the baby from head to foot. And so now the baby's ten inches this week. And from head to butt, the baby would be six and a half inches. So that's like the length of a banana, I guess. It said online. It's like the length of a banana. So that's crazy. When I told, it was funny, when I told my husband that, he kind of thought like the baby grew that much like from 6 inches to 10 inches in a week, but uh, then I had to tell them that they started measuring from head to foot this week. So um, that is that is really big, and I don't have my measuring tape thing today. I don't know what happened to it. I think Justin took it. I don't know where it is, but I did measure my stomach yesterday, so I know how big I am. Um, last week I was, what was I last week? 30, oh no, I don't remember what I was. If you watch my other video, you'll, you'll know what I was. I think I was 33 and a half. I'm pretty sure I was 33 and a half. If I'm not, just watch the, the video before this, um, on weeks 18 and 19, and I will, I measure it on camera in there. Uh, I'm not going to be able to do that today because, like I said, I don't have my, my measuring thing. Um, so that kind of sucks but yeah I don't think I don't think I really have anything else to say except for you know the most exciting thing is that we're gonna be finding out the gender um, in a few days here so um, yeah I'm just like I'm getting so antsy for that I feel like every day is going by so slow now and it, it's a kind of a bummer because I wanted to find out before we went home to see our family, but we're finding out the day after we get back home. Because um, I, I wanted to do like a little surprise reveal for our family, I guess. But it's okay, I guess. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Um, so I don't really know if I'm going to do... I can't film. We're not allowed to film in the ultrasound. Um, we're not allowed to have cameras or camcorders or anything in there, so that's kind of a bummer. I, I was thinking about doing maybe a video of, um, the ultrasound itself when we find out, but I'm not going to be able to do that, so I don't know. I'm probably going to do a separate video for the gender reveal, so, uh, in 21 weeks, which I'm almost 21 weeks, um, I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to say what we're having. I might. I don't know. Let me know if you, I don't know. Man, I suck at doing videos. I swear I suck at doing videos because I don't know. I can't say what I'm going to do because then I'll probably, knowing me, I'm going to end up not doing that. And then I don't want to make anyone mad. So I'm just not even going to say what I'm going to do. 
And then if it if I do end up doing it with my other video, with next week's video, then I do it then. If I do a separate video, I do that. Um, because I was thinking about doing a, a cool separate video, like when we bought the crib or something, but I got to thinking in our handheld camera, um, the charger has been missing and it's been dead for like a month. So unless I find that, I don't think we can do that video. So I don't know, it'll probably be, end up being in the other one, but there's a chance that it may not. That was a really long explanation of what I might do. <laughs> so let's just do the the belly. I'm having pregnancy brain fart symptoms, as you can tell. See, I can never get the right angle for this. So here is belly. It's definitely a lot bigger. I always wear dark shirts too. I probably shouldn't do that. But it's definitely grown. <laughs> My belly button, if it is like coming out slowly more and more. <laughs> and it's just it's crazy how big it is already. I feel like I'm I feel like I'm further along than twenty weeks and halfway there. Actually someone asked me, I put a picture on Facebook and someone asked me, they're like, you're only halfway? Um, because of how big I was, so. But I did measure it yesterday and I was 35 inches. Exactly. So, um, yeah. And the baby just kicks all over constantly. So yeah, so that is my belly. I never thought I would see my stomach ever look this big in my life. And it's just gonna get bigger. <laughs> so that is very exciting. Justin loves it. He um, I don't I don't think he fully realizes like how big it's gonna actually be, at the end because he sees like he sees other pregnant women, and he's like, wow, he's like that's a huge stomach. He's like, I don't. He's like, how how does it get that big? And he's like, I, I've never like realized how big it would how big it would be. And I still think he thinks it's not gonna be that big on me, but just because I'm smaller and he's he's used to me being smaller, and it's like every week, it grows more and more, and he's like he's just baffled by how big it gets, and he doesn't he doesn't fully realize how big it's gonna be at the end, and I'm a little I'm a little afraid for that, but um, it's funny. I like to show him videos of people's babies like kicking really really hard, like there's like crazy videos on YouTube of like alien babies kicking in belly or whatever and I show him and he's like is that gonna happen to you and I was like I don't know it might because like right now it's like when the baby kicks for some reason when the baby kicks it always kicks extremely hard when Justin isn't home or when Justin's not looking and then when Justin looks it's like a little kick and he misses it because he's not like focused he can't focus on where it is like I can because I can feel I can almost feel where the baby's about to kick and so, I have to like show him, and then but he gets so distracted. If the TV's on, he he'll look at my belly, and then something will happen on TV, and he'll look really quick, and he'll miss it. So we put um like uh we put something on my stomach last night. I forget what it was, but we we just set it right where the baby was kind of kicking, and for like an hour, Justin kept missing it because he was shining his boots and doing all this other stuff, and then finally he relax he relaxed and. I kind of like laid my legs on him, he cuddled with me a little bit and I, I still had it there and then all of a sudden the baby just did a huge kick and it moved the whole thing that was on my stomach like, and Justin was like, what? So yeah, and he's still, he's still upset that he hasn't been able to feel it much. Um, he's only felt it twice and uh, for some reason every time, even when I put my hand on my belly, when the baby's kicking, I put my hand on the belly. Uh, the baby will stop kicking, so <laughs> we're gonna have to uh, just be patient and wait until those big giant kicks start coming more frequently. But yeah, I think that's about it. If you guys have any questions or if I missed something, I probably did because I didn't have anything written down. Um, 
like I normally do. So just let me know and I will talk to you guys next week, which is really soon, actually, because it'll probably be Tuesday, Tuesday that I talk to you. So, yeah. Thank you for watching.